for me, for me, uh, I would say it's a deliberate from the part of the majority because they are leaders of government business. We've been holding meetings, even weekends, holidays. I've been a chairman of finance committee for eight years. Don't forget, from 2009 to January 2017, and have worked. Nothing of this sort ever happened. Now, if Friday before the house went on um, adjournment, and the decision was that Monday was going to be made solely for e levy and the committee was supposed to meet. Why didn't the committee meet on Saturday to work on this, get the report ready, so that the Monday, the 10 a.m. that we have agreed on, by the time the house is on 10, the report is ready. Why did we do that? So it depends on the leadership of the majority side. Who should take all these decisions? They have not done that. And yet, when we came on Monday, you have to postpone the sitting from 10 to 2. Even at that two, we did not sit. And you want the speaker who is treating her to keep long here waiting for all this work. No, it's, it, it's not good. And eventually, when the house came inside, he was prepared. He, he came to start the city. They were introducing different uh, business. They were introducing different business. Simply because he didn't have your numbers. So you were delaying the process to get all your numbers ready before you take decisions. I think that we should be fair to each other. For that matter, Honorable Fed Deputy Speaker yesterday had no right to say he was going to cast vote. And then also, the reasons for the speaker's absence yesterday, again, is on heaven. So these are the reasons why we call it this afternoon to send a message to Ghanaian, that we as NDC are against the e levy. We are not in favor of taxing capital. We are not in favor of taxing money that you and I have already been taxed. It's going to amount to double taxation. It's going to your taxing transfers. It is not an income, and therefore, don't go down. Rather, we are offering the Ministry of Finance the opportunity to go after those over 6 million Ghanaian who earn income and are not paying taxes to tax them so that we can rake in more revenue to take out the needs of this country. We thank you very much Bravo. for your coming. Yes. Uh, just two quick questions. Mm -hmm. Regarding today's sitting, how the minority leadership heard from the Speaker of Parliament? Yeah, we, we heard from the Speaker of Parliament. The Speaker was on the way coming. Uh, so, in fact, there was a uh, even a request from him to delay the process. But looking at the, the events, what was happening, we thought that in order not to delay the process, probably for the majority side to change their mind again, <laughs> they should come and decide an agenda. So, Speaker was prepared to come uh, to the House uh, this morning. Yes, so we heard from him. Regarding uh, the e levy, mm -hmm. now, uh, Parliament has adjourned sitting. Yeah. You are on recess. What, what plan is your side uh, putting together when it comes back? Well, we, I said, we said, come and again that we are against the e levy. And let's give you some historical background, probably to be what happened in production of taxes in Ghana. In 1995, when the President Rollins introduced the VAT in this country. It was a current president, Nana Akufuado, who led a demonstration that Kumi Preku demonstration against the introduction of VAT. Ghanaians really want VAT. So what President Rollins did was to withdraw the VAT, went for further consultation, reduced the rates, and it was accepted when it was reintroduced. We want this government to listen especially the president who was the person against relationship.